Hello and welcome back to another video. Um, I've stopped uh, on my, my uh, lunch break where I shouldn't do. There's this big sign to my left saying no HGVs to stop here. And there's double yellow lines but I ran out of taco time. Uh, like two, two, maybe three minutes left. So uh, I had to stop. Um, like I can see a truck stop just up the road there. I could have gone to that but I didn't realise at the time it was there. So some man's just come over now from this uh, car dealership here. Very, very polite. Um, just telling me he's going to take a picture of my vehicle and uh, I shouldn't be parked here etc etc. So just explain to him, you know, I'd rather get a, a parking ticket than a, a done for driving over me hours. And uh, also I told him it was my first week, which is obviously it is, it's not a lie. And he says, right, okay, well, I'll let you off this time. So I offered to buy him a cup of tea or a coffee, and he says, oh, I don't take bribes. So he's probably took a picture anyway. Um, and now I'm, the next job I've got uh, is picking, or dropping off, sorry, at Driver School of Training, Leckensfield, which is where I learned to drive my truck in the army. So that should be interesting to see the barracks again. Shit all it was. Although I think they've built new barracks, which is what I'm delivering in the back now, some new carpet for it, or whatever it is for the barracks. But um, yeah, I'll um, flip the camera around so you can uh, have a look. And um, that's it. After 50 yards, turn right, A614, then at the end of right. the road, turn right. Shut up. Right, that's my brake done now. Um, onwards, back onto the motorway, then onto uh, the army camp called Leckensfield and then uh, I've got a few more jobs after that so might have a bit of a late one today but let's see how it goes eh I'm 
feeling I can't go down here and I can't I'm going to have to turn around somewhere there's a seven and a half ton weight limit so I'm going to try and turn in here if possible These cars will let me out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. signs um, I know it's in Beverly anyway a town called Beverly Basically, I can't go the way I want to go. I have to go a bit along the way around. But the reason uh, they've done, the council have done that is because obviously we're hitting an area where they're teaching truck drivers out well, drivers out to be truck drivers uh, in the army. So all the residents must be fed up with it. It's been it's been there for forever that driving skills. So I'm sure the residents have complained to the council. The council has decided, okay. We'll let them have the main roads and that's it. So, unfortunately, uh, for everyone else who's commercial, it's a pain in the ass because you have to go out a long way. Didn't look it. No. suitable and I hope it's this sat nav is taking me the right place the right way. I'm still worried there might be uh, I might not be able to go the direction I want to go because of the restrictions but all I can do is try now really. See I don't really speed I don't you know I don't I don't break the speed limit so I'd rather I just have no other delays if you know what I mean. I know drivers do break the speed limit because they've got a lot of deadlines, but two entrances to Normandy Barracks there's the bit where basically it's the back entrance which will lead you onto the runway at the back of the camp or there's a front way so I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go I'm just gonna go the front way and speak to the guard commander and see where he wants me go left on the roundabout first exit A164 yeah, so I remember this area now. Turn right, then turn left. Right, so this entrance is closed. Right, so the 
fuck are we supposed to get in? Let's have a look. South gate. So the gate. This used to be the main entrance. Okay, so just got my security pass. And because I'm exam here, I don't need to be escorted, which is good. Right, that's me done in this place. A bit of a shambles, the contractors are flapping. Uh, on to the next one. It's Friday, there's nobody here. Everyone's on weekend leave. There's the old hut. Just a quick update. Um, driving back to uh, the yard now. Having not delivered four drops. Um, to be honest, um, pissed off to, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, my battery died on the GoPro, that's why I just put my phone on the dashboard. Um, yeah, I think that, first of all, the first drop, that's an hour and 15 minutes drive from, from the uh, yard. Okay, fair enough. And then, a couple of drops in that area, and then I had to run uh, another 80 miles to do, um, sorry, about 50 miles to do another drop at the uh, army barracks. That was a ball ache. What you didn't see after the, after the camera went off was um, I realised it took off. Um, it had taken off more stuff than it should have. So that's a, uh, once I realised, I had to then drive back to camp, faff around with the guard room, drive back around, find the guys, um, find the container that they put stuff in, and then um, get it back. Just, there's still one black strip of plastic missing, so. I don't know where that's gone, it's just gone. If the company wants me to pay for that, I'll pay for it. It's my mistake for not double checking, really. Um, yeah, well, as soon as I realised I'd left the stuff, I could have just broke down, I was just drained. So, anyway, after that, uh, I drive to Hull, which is another 35 40 minutes. Do a, do a drop in Hull. And then I was supposed to come back to a place called Bingley. Now that, that is 71 miles from Hull. It's kind of on the way back, but not quite. Um, it's an hour and 45 minutes drive from Hull. So if I drive there to that drop, ignoring the other three drops, if I drive there because he, he needs it, he's been shouting at me on the phone, the guy who needs it. Um, 
So if I drive back there, it means I've not got enough, enough time on my taco in the, uh, left in the day to, to drive home. And there's one thing for sure, I ain't sleeping in this wagon, there's no fucking bed. Um, so as much as the guy needs it, I really feel sorry for the bloke. Well, I feel for the bloke because he said he's got, he's got a deadline to do, but sometimes shit happens. I can't, I'm, there's no way I'm sleeping out overnight in a wagon with no bed just so someone can like finish a bit of flooring off. It's not gonna happen. Um, yeah so I'm a bit, a bit down now, I'm a bit pissed off. Um, I rang the office, they just said do what you can do, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Um, I said bring the guy up and see if he'll meet you halfway. But um, he's not answered his phone so I'm not going to chance in case he's not there so I'm just going to go straight back home now. Which is uh, about, he's saying it, about an hour and 45 minutes away from where I am now. Um, and that should get me back in time before my taco runs out for today. Um, otherwise, I'll be screwed. So, sorry for the crap camera angle. And I just thought I'd tell you how it really is. I'm really fed up today. Well, you get ups and downs, I suppose. Monday, I'm back on the um, delivering glass. Now I hope it's the one to York, like I did um, on Wednesday, Thursday, whatever day it was, Wednesday. Um, I like that run, that was one drop, uh, and then straight back again. I was done by, I was on by one or two o'clock. So hopefully, we're gonna put me on the same run again. I really hope so, I don't want multi drops. Obviously a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the driving jobs are multi jobs. I understand that, but I think, I don't know, I, th I think that they put too much on this load, too, well, probably not too much, but the distance is too far apart. I don't think it's been thought through properly by the transport manager or whoever arranges the delivery. Now it's not a bad company and they all seem pretty switched on, but when I was on the phone to somebody earlier, he said, yeah, it's a bit of a stretch that one. Uh, only, we only do that one once a week. So that says to me that they already know it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare. Um, so. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, it's Friday. Oh, we're getting pissed, probably. Man in my English. I must stop swearing actually on these videos because um, I know kids might watch it, so I'll, I'll make a conscious effort, conscious effort, not to swear on any more videos. Because um, when I was about 15, 16, I used to uh, I used to go on YouTube and look for trucking videos and stuff like that. My granddad was a truck driver. He was also a dispatch rider during the war. During the war, so he used to deliver important uh, documents on a motorbike. Uh, my uncle's a truck driver. Well, he was. He's, he's giving it up now because uh, the government won't too much money off you. Uh, his son, my cousin, he's a truck driver. My other uncle's a coach driver. He drives all over Europe. Funny enough, my cousin and my uncle, both uncles, both love motorbikes. Um, I like bikes, but I'm not, I'm not as keen as they are, so it must be something in the genes. But trucking's definitely in the blood. I, I can remember when I was uh, when I was younger, we used to have a, we used to go to the babysitters after school before my mum come home from work, and. Um, her partner was a truck driver. I used to 
well, there's the transport office. Um, they used to drive, uh, drive st uh, stone wagons. So, they used to go in, in with them. I'm going to have a little bit of a rant here. I've noticed... Um, wow, that's blurry. I've noticed um, some of the older truck drivers they look through the window and they see a younger person at the same height as them and I don't think they like it. Um, I think um, I think they've got a problem with that. It's like I just took over one now and I was at, I was in middle lane for absolutely ages because he wouldn't we basically matched the speed and he wouldn't back off a tiny bit so we could come in and I didn't want to just come in and then ruin his braking distance because that's just not it's not the way to do things. I wouldn't want someone to come in in front of me and ruin my braking uh, distance. Um, so I don't know, I just think, I just think some of the older um, truck drivers, give us a break will ya? End of run. Just a quick update. Um, so for the shaky camera, uh, I've got 22 minutes to get back. 22 minutes estimated travelling time. Um, travelling at 70 miles an hour. Obviously, I'm only doing 56 to get back to depot. I have on my taco 32 minutes. So it's gonna, it's gonna cut fine, very fine. I don't want to go over on that. So. Metal is to the metal, 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 but it's still already 56.